<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and welcome back <laughs> to Fives the Crowd. Tony's Dude. got his uh, John Leguizamo impersonation going on over here. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not awkward at all. <laughs> Speaking of awkward things, oh, oh my god, we're just, I am so, pushing this. We're diving right in. Pedal to the metal. We baby. are just going. One man show. Here we are. Hey, uh, <laughs> you know, for all you viewers out there, you know, have you ever seen like those awkward family photos? Mm-hmm. Oh, like extremely awkward ones. I guarantee you that they also have awkward traditions. Okay, <laughs> so. We're going to talk about awkward traditions tonight. I love it. But before it's we do that. Thanksgiving. Let's all shave the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Who's cat grandma? <laughs> I don't know. That was just something awkward that came to my head. It's not, we don't really do that. <laughs> okay. Thank God. Let me, let me start off by introducing my four wonderful friends here. I got Cam, Hi. Chris, Hello. Austin, hey. Tony. Hello. And yours personally, Zach. Zach Attack. Yes. Like Cancer free Zach. Attack. Yes, sir. <laughs> Take it all. I love it. I love it so much. So well, welcome to the best podcast on the planet. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Austin put me in charge tonight and I have to end the podcast too. So that's the podcast for the night. <laughs> We're going to go to that. So no. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> so this podcast might run a little late because we are starting this one extremely late. Yeah. So it's so, going to be a little short. So it might be short. We'll... Yeah, hey, it's, you know, it's, it's a little. Sounds like you guys are on a first gym. date and you made it to the room. We're gonna jam <laughs> back our hour and a half. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> Two pump chump, baby. It's fine. It's a little short. <laughs> it's been a while. It's a little short. It'll go fast. But you know what? If you give me a second chance, it'll last longer. Yeah. <laughs> So come back again for another episode in the future. Oh, my hell. <laughs> the bar won't be very high. <laughs> if you you got to gotta set the bar low at first. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, <laughs> which then you, bar? Then you razzle-dazzle, right? Exactly. What do they call it, Cam, in your profession? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what's his... What's... <laughs> What's, what's your what's profession? profession? What's your the profession? Same. Which one? The, the surprise. And delight. And delight. Yeah, okay. That's the one. Not razzle dazzle. <laughs> surprise and delight. Surprise, surprise, surprise and delight. What are you talking about? <laughs> just so that's what we do. We surprise and delight. Oh, yeah, okay. so you set the bar low. Yeah. And then you surprise Under and delight. Under promise, over delivery. That's yes. the other surprise one. Surprise and delight. Kabam. That's what, uh, that's what Red Bull's all about. What? Under promise, over deliver. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Red Bull's really good at that. You want to tell them that you're going to do it at this time, but then you do it earlier. Ah, I like it. I like so it. Push. Just use that in life. Yep. Love you it. Always, you always tell them worst case scenario. Never tell them best case scenario because then you're always making them happy. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's a all around customer service rule. Yep. Never, never give them worst. Never give them best case now. scenario. <laughs> yep. You always give worst case scenario. Yep. Always. <laughs> so so in my just... case, it's like your loan is going to get denied. One hundred percent. Two days later, great news! <laughs> I got you a dollar. I pulled yeah. some strings. Oh, yeah, I pulled some pull. strings, and uh, you know, I made some things happen <laughs> with and... my mouth. <laughs> and I got you that loan deal. Well, not only did I get you a loan, but I got you like a hundred thousand dollar loan. But I only asked for ten thousand. I got you a hundred thousand. <laughs> Open it on, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. Oh. So before we jump into the awkward family traditions, I have to know going around the table, is there anything that you have found your family doing that you're like from the outside now, now married to a different family that you're like yeah, it's a little weird. Or do you have the the opposite where maybe you are seeing your in-laws and you're like, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> no. For the most part, it's actually pretty normal. Yeah. Well, that's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah, well, it. My weird thing that's is they, just pretty... they try to make me wear pajamas for breakfast. And I'm like, no. I get up and I get ready for the day. You don't yeah. wear pajamas to breakfast? No, but no, I'm not going to get in my car in pajamas and go to another home oh, when they're that meeting was, up. That was my in-laws most years too, actually, because we get together with them on Christmas Day. Yeah. 
And every morning we go over, open presents, and then do breakfast afterwards. And nine times out of ten, they want you to come in your jammies. And I'm like, Psh. Oh, yeah. It that... was like us at our friend's dinner. We were supposed to show up in jammies. I showed up in Levi's. Yeah, I was in jammies. Yeah, I yeah, know I was you were. Ja- I, was I, I know it you was my were. house. I, was <laughs> <in jammies>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't wear jammies outside of my house. I feel right. sloppy and gross. I used to wear pajamas to high school thinking it was cool and comfy. And it was. It was comfy. <laughs> it was comfy. It was comfy. <laughs> I mean, heck, I slept through half of it anyway. Might as well. He's just, like, he's just like, I'm here, aren't I? I'm just <laughs> present. <laughs> Over. Yeah. Present. Yeah, literally, physically, not mentally. That bro came in. I There were so many mornings. He, he, he had this. It, you know, the arm tucked of the binder. I think you had a zipping one, didn't you? Maybe no. not. And he'd come in, waltzing into adult roles, beanie like damn near over his eyes, just like, don't talk to me. <laughs> and he'd just come and sit down behind me and poof. <laughs> Sleep mode, activate. Yep. That's good, awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what you need to do at work tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, I wish I could get away with it just as easy. You just got to give them those don't talk to me eyes. <laughs> right? They work well. All right. <laughs> well, I can start us off with a weird, sto- weird, weird tradition that is not family, but it is a weird tradition. All right. Let's okay. hear it. Who does? Uh-huh. This one's called pooping their way through Christmas. Nice. Get out. I like it. Welcome to the bizarre Catalan tradition of Kaga Tio. Or de- defecating log. <gasps> Locals in Catalonia create a character out of a log, drawing a face on it and giving it a hat. Then they spend a fortnight feeding it fruit, nuts, and sweets. On Christmas Eve, the entire family beats the log with, si- with sticks and sings a traditional song that translates to, If you don't crap well, I'll beat you with a stick until the log is es- <laughs> great <laughs> All of its treats. <laughs> what? What? I didn't fully read this one. It's getting better. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. So they feed a log <laughs> treats fruit, and sweets, and then they beat it until it craps. Saying that it needs to crap out all the treats. Yeah. Is it like a pinata? That's in essence what I'm gathering. It's yeah. It's a log, and they draw a face on it. <laughs> Oh that sounds God. like a poor man's pinata. For reference, pinata. this is this is northeastern Spain. Okay. Is where Catalonia is. Okay, oh, okay. thank you. <laughs> this has to be is like a more? poor man's pinata, right? It's got to be. It's got to be. Like, is it a hollow log? It's just a. It's just a log. Bro, <laughs> it's that just has a log. to be a poor man's pinata, which is sad because a pinata is pretty poor. It's, it's pretty paper poor. Mache. It's. Uh, <laughs> Poor man's cardboard. It's like a Yule log. <laughs> Maybe it's a rich man's pinata. True. So, yeah, there's that. Cedar. Jeez. <laughs> what the freak? That's yeah. hilarious. I did my research. <laughs> <laughs> just just because we're talking, mm. like, this is total off kilter, but because we're talking of logs and cutting, at least in my mind, it was cutting logs. Did you guys ever hear about the story about the poop knife? Yes, no. I have. What's that? <laughs> can, can you pull it up? Because I don't have the... Fr- like It's literally been over a decade since I heard that story. This story went absolutely viral on Reddit. A poop so knife. Funny. The poop oh, knife, dude. dude. It's, it's so about funny. traditions. Okay. So, <clears throat> hold on. This is... Real quick. Go ahead. There's chapter two of this. Oh, real quick. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. They also decorate their nativity scenes with small pooping ceramic caganers or figurines. Wait, how how does ceramic poop? Wait, wait, what was that word again? (laughs) Caganers? Caganers? Cagaganers? So cagar in Spanish. Cagaganers. And I'm quoting, means to shit. (laughs) (laughs) Cagar! Shit. I, I was quoting. I was quoting the dictionary <laughs> definition. Oh my gosh, guys! You guys just heard a world's first. I don't know if I've ever heard Cam say that word. <laughs> in, in, <laughs> usually, well-known characters often drawn from that year's news. The figurines also have their pants around their ankles. Oh my gosh! What the heck is wrong? <laughs> Why? This is so weird. Oh my gosh! Hey. Cut Mary squatting next to the manger. <laughs> like. 
the Immaculate high. Inception. <laughs> immaculate. Dude, that's so funny. Sorry. Anyway, go ahead. Oh my gosh. Okay. Poop that's knife. So, so speaking of cagar. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this story was on Reddit. Who knows? Like 2013, I guess. Is it? Yeah. Or no, that's something else. It's probably been it's pretty nine old. or ten years. It's been around for a while. Because I remember I heard this story back when I lived in my townhouse. So I'll just I'll just read you the the post here. So it starts out. My family poops big. <laughs> right on. Maybe it's genetics. Maybe it's our diet. But everyone births giant logs of crap. If anyone has laid a mega poop, you know that sometimes it won't flush. It lays across the hole in the bottom of the bowl, and the vortex of draining water oh, merely gives it a spin stuff. as it mocks you. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, this was a common enough occurrence that our family had a poop knife. Uh, <laughs> it was an old, rusty kitchen knife that hung on a nail in the laundry room, only to be used for that purpose. Oh my it was gosh. normal to walk through the hallway and have someone call out, Hey, can you get me the poop knife? <laughs> Uh, oh my God. Uh, I thought it was standard kit. You have your plunger, your toilet brush, and your poop knife. Fast forward to 22. It's been a day or two between poops, and I'm over at my friend's house. My friend was a local dealer and always had guests over because you can't buy weed without, mm. <laughs> without sitting on your butt and sampling it for an hour. I excuse myself and lay a gigantic turd. I look down and see... That it was that it's a sideways one. <laughs> so I crack the door and call out from a friend. He arrives and I ask him for his poop knife. <laughs> My what? <laughs> Your poop knife, I say. I need to use it, please. <laughs> WTF is a poop knife. <laughs> Obviously he has one, but maybe he calls it by a more delicate name. A fecal cleaver? <laughs> a dung divider. A guano glaive? <laughs> <laughs> I explain what it is I want and why I want it. He starts giggling, then laughing. Then lots of people start laughing. It turns out the music stopped and everyone heard my pleas through the door. It also turns out that none of them had poop knives. <laughs> it was just my effed up family with their effed up bowels. FML. I told this to my wife last night, who was amused and horrified at the same time. Turns out that she did not know what a poop knife was and had been using the old rusty knife <gasps> hanging in the utility <laughs> closet as a basic utility knife. Thankfully, she didn't cook with it, oh. but used it to open Amazon boxes. She will be getting her own utility knife now. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I forgot about that last one. Like common slides. question. Why was it not in the bathroom instead of the laundry room? Answer, we only had one poop knife, and the laundry room was central to all three bathrooms. <laughs> I have no idea why we didn't have three poop knives. <laughs> all I know is that we didn't. We had one. Possibly because my father was notoriously cheap about the weirdest things. So yes, we shared our poop knife. Oh, gosh. Wow. I feel like the poop knife is not long enough either. Like, I, I don't want right? to get that gotta close. It's got to be like a cleaver. Right? I, I would attach it to a broomstick. Yes. Too. Yeah. Like a freaking spear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chop, chop, like chop, chop, chop. Tom Hanks and Castaway. Like, yeah. you're trying to I would be spear like that thing. <laughs> at the Japanese grills, which is just the two uh, spatulas. <laughs> <laughs> like a hibachi. Yeah. Not trying to spray like, it around. He's like, shing, 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 shing. <laughs> now, here's the oh, oh, God. Chris has a cutting board next to his toilet. <laughs> he pulls it out. <laughs> Chops it up and pushes it in. I don't have that issue. So, hey, I mean, to make his stories not that crazy, did you, have you ever noticed that, like, at the hospitals, they have, like, like a razor blade thing in the toilet? Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, when, no. you, when you poop, it... It hits that and it chops it into pieces. What? You know, well, because people in the hospital, like, if they have, like, hardcore constipation, some log comes out or whatever. Yeah, it's well, yeah so there's warning signs that say, don't put your hand in there. I have never seen that. Me either. It's usually in the... I saw it when Shaylee, Shaylee had a, sur, a hernia surgery not too long ago. And, like, the bathroom in where we were waiting to, like, for her to go in yeah. had it. I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. Just put it in a disposal, dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Never clog a toilet again. 
Bro, that'd be the best solution ever. Why don't just they do that? Ha- have a warning that you need to close the lid first before flushing. <laughs> I bet you get toilet paper, paper <laughs> up in it. But I do. I thought about that too. They need a disposal in your yeah. toilet. Definitely. There you go. There's our million billion dollar idea. <laughs> um, here's a tradition. It says at Christmas, my family all give each other a set of underwear. Normal enough, but it's not over. Normal, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> nope. You already you lost us. <laughs> receive your underwear, you have to say, ooh, thank you, really loudly, stand up, then put the underwear on your head to show everyone, and it has to stay on your head until every present has been given out. What? <laughs> oh, I could get creative with that one. What? <laughs> That'd be what, fu- the, It'd be kind of funny. The different kind of underwear? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I mean, is it like a a prank? Yeah. No. Is it, it's just they're yeah. like like their everyday underwear. They, just like a quirky t- I'll get tradition. A, get a set of underwear for Christmas. Every I mean, year. I'm never gonna do that. But just I could tradition. see. It. See, yeah. I think it'd be funny if it was a prank and it was like to see who could buy the most bizarre underwear. Yeah, kind of like a white elephant right. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But, huh? Well, I have a <laughs> weird. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to see any of the intimates for my family. I didn't say. Right. It wouldn't be like normal intimates, though. Like yeah, it, but still, I just don't want to sure? see that. I mean, I wouldn't buy normal intimates. You wouldn't want to see your sister's thong or anything no, like bro, that? No, I'm good. Or your in-laws? <laughs> or yeah, your, your mother-in-law's thong or anything? Mom gets Could crotchless. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> see? See? <laughs> there we oh, go. Mom All gets right. crotchless, and then she's like, oh, I've this been was fun. These. She's <laughs> like, oh, thank you. Her puff of hair is coming out. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Slides down around her nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's so bad. Oh my god! Her oh, nose is sticking out. Dad reaches across and tickles her there nose. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All these years of searching, I finally found it. Uh, Are you gonna sneeze? Are you gonna sneeze? <laughs> Come on, there, little guy. <laughs> It's uh, running. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, I got one. Okay, Zach will like this one. Um, one of Ukraine's favorite festive traditions is not one of those with, or is not one for those uh with the fear of creepy crawlies, where we would have babbles, tinsel, and stars. Ukrainians use decorations that mimic the natural formation. Of spiders' webs shimmering with dew. Ew. The tradition goes back to a folk tale about a poor widow who could not afford to decorate a tree for her children. Legend has it that spiders in the house took pity on the family and spun beautiful webs all over the tree, which the children awoke to find on Christmas morning. Spiders' webs are also considered to be lucky in Ukrainian culture. The hell? <laughs> no. I would throw that tree outside. I wake up in the morning, I see spider webs all over it, and it's gone. See, they use like string to oh. mimic spider webs. No, nope. gross. Oh, yeah, no thanks. Nope. Heck no. Tony would love I, it. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm looking at this going, that's kind of cool. No. In Guatemala, uh-huh. they spent, well, I'll just read it. In Guatemala, cleanliness really is next to godliness. Locals believe that... <coughs> Excuse oh, me. really? Yeah. That the devil and other evil spirits live... I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everyone, it's going around. Everyone's got the, the weird, crusty The devil's throat. in him. <coughs> Get out of him, devil. For real. Did it just <coughs> squirt? Okay. What? <laughs> what? What? Water. <laughs> water. Did you tickle your nose? <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed weird. And then it. <laughs> Jesus, this conversation. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm going to go home and tickle Jenny's nose. <laughs> yeah. There. Well, there goes a <laughs> mature warning on this one. That thing gone a long time ago. Oh. It's, it's too late. She ain't going to give you the time of Excuse night. Excuse me. Oh, not tonight. <laughs> Ooh. Get your finger out of my nose. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> One for each hole. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go, Guatemala. Locals believe that the devil and other evil spirits live in the dark, dirty corners of your home. <coughs> Therefore, they spend the week before Christmas sweeping up, collecting rubbish, and then piling everything in a huge heap outside. Finally, an effigy of the devil is placed on top, and the whole thing is set on fire. Fire. Wow. It's called... Yeah. Quema del Diablo. Yeah. yeah Quema del Diablo. Which... I know something's devil. Yeah. The burning of the devil. That. The idea for Guatemalans is to burn all the bad from the previous year and start a new year from out of the ashes. Like a I like phoenix. that. That's actually like freaking it. cool. Like, that's way yeah, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's burn some devils. I like I that. I like that. That one's way awesome. Yeah. I'd probably catch my own house on fire. <laughs> that, <but laughs> bigger. Um, this one isn't Christmas or anything like that, but it's just a weird tradition that they do. Do it. Okay. So this one, it's, uh, submitted by this guy. His, his online tag is soulless, soulless PI or so. I don't know. Anyways, he says his family loves mangoes. Um, he goes, they're one of the world's greatest fruits, but they aren't super easy to eat. And it's easy to make a huge mess when you do. So when it was mango time in our family, we'd take off our clothes and all sit around eating mangoes in our underwear to keep ourselves clean. Mm. That sounds like therapy. <laughs> Needs to be... Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Had. <clears throat> Who's eating mangoes like that? That's it. They yeah, got to keep yourself clean. So instead of getting it all over your clothes, they'd sit around in their underwear and eat mangoes. What about a bib? Or throwing a towel over you for crying out loud. Like, nope. Or a glade bag or, just, or something? Yeah. Nope. Gotta sit in your underwear. Just eat them in the shower. But then what? Yeah, then you're gonna go shower. <laughs> I Ugh. gotta gotta watch mama in her underwear. What the freak, dude? No, thanks, man. <laughs> I'm good. This I find this one very funny. Mm. So this one is, says, "My parents are from Croatia, and every time we'd go back to the old country for a visit, my whole family would get new tracksuits. The plane was f- <laughs> always full of Slavs." So I thought everyone had to wear tracksuits while flying until I got into high school. <coughs> a friend of mine was going on vacation, and I asked them if they had gotten their mandatory traveling tracksuit yet. <laughs> the whole lunch table went dead silent. Anyways, some Slavic stereotypes are true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh... That's awesome. Traveling tracks. I had one, another one. Back in 1974, the American fast food restaurant KFC released a festive marketing campaign in Japan. The seemingly simple slogan, something in Japanese, um, which translates to Kentucky for Christmas, spawned a national tradition that thrives to this day. Although Christmas isn't a national holiday in Japan, families from all over the country head to their local KFC for a special Christmas Eve meal. While it might be fast food, expect to pay a higher premium on the biggest sell day of the year. A KFC Christmas dinner clocks in at around 3,336 yen, which I don't know what that translates it's like to dollars. Like 42 dollars. But... Dang. I'm just kidding. I don't that's probably oh. I don't know. He's checking. Cam. It is twenty four fifty. Twenty four dollars fifty cents? Yeah. What? You said three thousand three hundred and thirty six yen? Correct. Yeah. Twenty four fifty. Wow. Dang, Bro. that's cheap. That's cheaper than ours. Yeah, definitely. Dude, I you we can't just, get a bucket of chicken. For we that just long. went to Dairy Queen tonight. <laughs> got a mini ice cream. Mini. Bro. Not even a large, nothing. A mini. It was four dollars. And I got a burger. No fries, single patty, eight dollars. We spent twelve dollars on those two items. <coughs> Dude, the other day we wanted Chipotle. So I get on my like order it on their app. And I I was planning on picking it up, but I wanted to see how much it would cost to deliver. So on their app, if I were to pick it up, one, it's sixty bucks. So that's already freaking expensive. If I chose delivery, it would have been beef like with I think the lowest tip that they let you like put on there or whatever, a hundred and ten dollars. What? 
That used to be a rooster another, steak. This is getting ridiculous. For another how 50 many? bucks for but, tip and delivery? And it was for delivery? like three burrito bowls and like a kid's meal. Holy. And, like, uh, and some chips with like guacamole and cheese. So like freaking 60 if we pick it up, 110 if we have it delivered. Good what? heavens. Were they charging you an extra fee just to order through the app if you went That was it from up? Chipotle's own app. Sixty dollars? Don't they use like Grubhub or something though? I think they use DoorDash or Bo- uh, I think they use all of them actually. Yeah, so they just those places crazy. are easy. <laughs> that uh, is insane. Well, because if you if you use DoorDash or Grubhub or all those, not only do they charge you the fees and you pay the tip to the driver, all that stuff, all the food items themselves are, are more, more expensive. expensive, right? Yep. That's that doesn't stupid. even make sense because you can still go out and eat dinner for less than that. Yeah. Like at a sit down yeah. nice restaurant. I bet me and Jenny and the kids could all go to, I'll say, Texas Roadhouse and probably walk out of there spending about 70 bucks. Yeah. That is insanity. It's stupid. That's crazy. It's crazy how expensive fast food's getting. It doesn't even make it's sense. It's not worth it anymore. The whole like premise of fast food is it's fast and it's cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the only reasons you eat it. Yep. There's no other value in that meal. The food itself <clears> is still <throat> cheap. <laughs> Well, that's but the money. Me and my one of my coworkers are actually talking about this the other day. That you could go. Remember when we had our guys' night, like before any of us had kids. And I don't remember. You don't remember. <laughs> um, Tony's always had kids. No, we don't. He even had kids in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but you remember we'd go to Wendy's. Oh, we could get yeah. a junior bacon cheeseburger. You all like, this other stuff for like you a like Wendy's? dollar. Yeah. You like Wendy's nuts yeah, at dude. your face? <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's actually the first time I heard that. <laughs> Don't even ask me um, about Candace. I won't. <laughs> huh? Candace? Yeah. Candace dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... Yeah, I remember when you get, get all that stuff for a dollar. Oh, oh yeah, like and now kings. like a a junior G, junior bacon cheeseburger is like two dollars and nineteen cents or something. Not like to that. mention, I think it's smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And the dollar menu turned to the value menu. Yes, overnight, yep. magically. Yeah, yep. <laughs> it's when they got those digital ones. They're like, haha. Magic. Well, that's. <laughs> I remember back in high school, me and a girlfriend of mine, we'd do dates like every weekend. We'd call it dollar menu movie night. And we'd go pick a place, we'd order off the dollar menu, go back and watch a movie. And date nights would cost like 10 bucks, if that. Yeah. And yeah. now you can't even do that. Yeah. Dude, it's date ridiculous. Night, a date night to the movies, the, the concessions are more expensive than the movie. Mm-hmm. Well, I shared that thing when, uh, on our Instagram chat that uh, it was like the average date night for oh, Americans yeah. is now $98. I don't know bucks. why, they're going to Chipotle. <laughs> right, dude. For it's so dumb, <laughs> heavens. It's so dumb. Was this the pineapple girlfriend? No. Okay. She was never a girlfriend. Well, speaking of pineapple, he wanted her oh. to be a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. nice tell segue. us about the pineapples. <laughs> the Christmas Christmas goes <laughs> tropical. I'm gonna say this one real quick. I know pineapples are good for you. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I know. We lived with my grandpa for the first five years of our marriage, and he always decorated the tree. We wanted something that was ours, so we purchased the pineapple and decorated it with many lights and ornaments. Now we always have a Christmas pineapple. I also have a big karaoke mach- machine that I burst out, and we all sing Christmas karaoke carols together. That's awesome. That's how, how do you decorate a pineapple the with lights and the ornaments? Top of it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't hmm. But it's Christmas sorry. only like this big. <clears throat> there are definitely well, some there's traditions. A will. Yeah, hmm. there's a way. I like because you could just like you push it in, like you put the little hook into the little leaf. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't have to be the big lights either. True, yeah, little tiny we have, but even the, one strand of lights. Alan's well, got a teeny little tree we decorate for him in his room. We hmm. have some lights upstairs that are literally on like the thinnest. It almost looks like fishing. Oh line, yeah, right? yeah, I know what you're talking. And they're just about. like battery operated little tiny itty bitty lights. Just little LEDs. Yep. There you go. Dude, there's actually a lot of traditions I've seen. I feel like if, some you, of the stuff I want if to you do that, you have to play that. Malikiliki uh, Maka is a Oh, definitely. <laughs> you got to play that. Yeah. So while researching some of these things, I found this one article. You guys might have seen it too. 
It's from bestlifeonline.com. It's 25 worst Christmas traditions that should be retired. And going through it, it's literally just every normal tradition you've ever heard of around Christmas. Like what? Really? And so at the end of this, I'm like, this person just hates Christmas. Yeah. (laughs) So yeah, 25 worst traditions of all time that should be retired. Ugly sweaters. What? Depending. Right? Uh, Okay. Oh? One thing with that is I personally, I I don't like how ugly sweaters has become such a thing that now they're like distributing ugly sweaters. When they're not really ugly. Yeah. yeah. It just has the moniker, but they're not really ugly. Right. I liked it back in the day when the goal was to find a sweater that was made to be a legitimate Christmas sweater, but it's just ugly as hell. I got yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So keep the tradition, but go back to its roots. See, exactly. I don't even care if it was a Christmas sweater. I just, we'd always go get just the ugliest knitted sweaters we could find. See, yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Um, elf on a shelf. I could do I can, without elf on the shelf. That one see, bugs me. I can see why we don't do it. Nice. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to. We do it. I like it with the <laughs> little kids, but it does get hard. It's like, oh, where the hell's the elf going tonight? Like, it's yeah. just. It is. It is rather fun though, having like a daily or a morning thing where it's like, oh, where is it? And then they mm-hmm. run around the house. And yeah. they advent calendar. <laughs> oh, I love advent They're calendars. Um, figgy pudding. Never really had any. I never either. had that. No, we had I figgy had pudding. Spam. Spam. <laughs> yeah, spam figgy pudding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's horrible. Secret Santa. I love, love Secret Santa. Right? Secret I Santa's love fantastic. Secret Santa. That's the greatest way to do charity. Like oh, to leave yeah. a secret Santa on someone's porch or something. You like know, that's... speaking of which, it's probably too late by the time this, it's probably too late even now. You can actually sign up for a Secret Santa through Reddit. Oh. Did you know that? Oh, that's cool. No. Yeah. So you actually jump into, and it's like a registry and you can, you get paired up with someone around the, like, I think you can specify if you don't mind international, but I think it tries to keep it domestic or at least local to your country. So it's not, you're not paying astronomical and shipping, but you get paired with a random person. They stay anonymous, but you get to learn all about them, their likes and the things that oh, they're cool. into. That's and cool. so you can actually go out and give them a gift and, you know, make their day and in turn someone completely random gets paired with you and so it's not like just a giving thing you're also yeah. receiving a gift it's a lot of fun we've done that's it a fun. few years you know that reminds me uh the uh lds church puts out those light the world booths now oh yeah um yeah and yeah. uh they're they're huge they're everywhere I about those and i actually heard so the head coach of the kansas city chiefs is LDS and he put one in the Kansas City Stadium. Are you talking Andy Reid? That's what I've heard. Okay. But anyway, some of the NFL players of the Chiefs were getting on and donating. Dude, those things are Because basically it's just it's like a little kiosk that has just charities and different things that you can just like get a on and machine. Yeah, exactly. And you can get on and donate and do different things. Well and you can buy have you seen them? Uh uh-uh. uh, I haven't either. So they, the the only place I've really seen them is the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. I was, Personally, yeah. But it's it's a big old vending machine. But there's you can donate to charities, but you can also like buy chickens. Yeah, for people. So like in a third world country, you buy. You're like, okay, I'll buy ten chickens, and they'll donate the chickens to these families Me, that need oh, them. That's cool. Me and Jenny and the kids <laughs> a few years back, we did Pigs, it. There's cows. a website you can go to. And depending on what you want to donate is how much it'll cost. And so it's like a chicken is like a dollar or um, you can buy them a gallon of fresh water or clothes, or you can even do mm-hmm. games and, and <laughs> sports equipment like um, soccer balls, things like that. Um, if you want to go all out, you can uh, donate towards building them a new home or putting in a well, things like that. And it That's had cool, all this yeah. cool stuff. Yeah. So if you're ever in the need of wanting to donate but never knew how to do it. It was, you could do it through this. Yeah, and it's such a cool, fun way. And like it, it's almost like tangible enough that you like feel that you're, you know, you feel it happening and yeah. your kids are like, Oh yeah, let's buy them that. Let's buy them that. Lisa and I always donate to the sub for Santa or whatever at the schools. Oh it's yeah. Uh-huh. What we do every year. Yeah. We like doing the, uh, is that what it's called where you'd get the ornament off the tree? No, the giving tree. That's what Jess and I love doing is yeah. the giving tree. You know, one time there was a giving tree. I can't remember. I want to say it was at one of my old jobs. We had one. And I was like, oh, that would be... It was like when Jenny and I were just starting out. So our income was bare minimum for just us. 
But I was like, oh, you know what? This would be great. I want to do something. So I was looking at the ornaments to take one off. And it was like Xboxes, washer and dryers, like things that I was like, I want this. <laughs> like, I'm like, holy <laughs> crap. Should we be on a gimme <laughs> tree? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, good heavens. Like here I was thinking that it was going to be like buying a little boy, um, some new socks or underwear, or new pair of shoes, See, things and, that and, are more of a necessity. Yeah. But it was like, yeah, like I said, like gaming consoles. Like Fortnite and, game cards. Yeah. I'm like, really? Yeah. I'm like, nah, I'm There's not. a, there is a, it is a weird line because there is a line where you're like, okay, are, do you really need this? Like, cause you never know. Like the kid might be 14 and their big thing might be, oh man, I, if I could have anything in the world, I just want an Xbox. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it's hard without context of knowing, but there are like, um, at least the tree at our gym, their tree is legit filled with stuff of people that actually have needs yeah and so that's really fun as you can go we i think in the past we've grabbed like 10 because it's like socks and like diabetic things and supplies and you're like that that makes you feel like you're really truly contributing or at least helping someone through a hard time that's awesome yeah but a kid who hasn't had a toy either yeah yes and that's just it it's like i'm not taken away from that it's like the, the kids of the family in need still they they need things that they want not just that they need yeah Exactly. And that's kind of like premise of Christmas, right? Is it's things that you don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, you're asking for the world. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> right, you yeah. have well, the siege all oyster. My, my philosophy around Christmas is like, I don't, like for family and stuff is, I don't want to buy them stuff they need. I want to buy them stuff they want because they won't buy it themselves. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Because they buy stuff they need. I'm like, no, this is Christmas. I want you to get something that you wouldn't buy yourself. Yeah. Right. Some frivolous, some silly, some fun. Yeah. I want a freaking halberd axe, man. Yeah. Freaking tomahawks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just I, throw it stuff. <laughs> well, that's, I want that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's the things we want to give you. The things you, you want. It? Yeah. Well, maybe you didn't know you wanted until you got yep. it. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking, I'm going to get you lightsaber dueling t- lessons. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Could you imagine going through classes on learning how to use a lightsaber? It'd be cool. It'd be fun. It'd be way fun. Yeah, Bro, dude. you'd be in the next. Oh, dude, I'd nerd out big time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would. Yeah. You'd be at the next, uh, what do they call those things at the LARPing. park? LARPing. LARPing. Yeah, LARPing. Dude, I want to though. We wouldn't recognize I'd it. LARP, dude. I, I would try LARP in a heart. Dude, dude, LARP should. looks like a They blast. do Lord of the Rings LARPs and stuff. So, I thought would be way well, cool. They had a LARPing event just over at the Just Lincoln to try Commons. it out. Oh, it was yeah. when we had our uh, Yeah, they do it. Yeah. They do it a lot. Because I saw it. them multiple times. I've in the seen them really? quite a few I've times. I've seen them over there. Yeah. And I'd give it a shot. I think it's funny. I would love to do it. I think it's awesome. So here's what I picture. Chris is uh, planning a trip to Disneyland here in the near future. Yeah. And, you know, over in Tomorrowland, they do Jedi training for the kids. It's already reserved. (laughs) Here's what I see, though. Here's what I see, though, is I see Chris coming in and shoving kids out of the way and going, nope, this is me. Watch out. I'm training today. This is not where you want to be. (laughs) So so basically, he's in there as Anakin with the younglings. (laughs) Anakin, dude, that's Slaughterville. Merry Christmas. The The things I do for love. (laughs) You were the chosen one. (laughs) You were my brother. I hate you. I loved you. (laughs) (laughs) Don't do it, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. <laughs> Do you really have that set though? Yeah. Already for <laughs> I lightsabers love it. being built. All of it. That's Heck awesome. yeah. yeah. That's, oh, awesome. you've been all that's the only have. reason he's going. Oh, well, a blast. Otherwise I, he'd I be was, sending was, all He's going to have the best time. He's just going to love everything. And he's just going to take you part miss, in it too. I, was I, mean, say, you I just spoke all the You mean kid, Chris is going to have a good time. For the kid, I need to be there. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All Supporting right. him. <laughs> that's I, just good parenting. I love seeing the nerd come out in you. It's awesome. Dude, Dude. I... I can't wait for you to see Star Wars Land. Two things: Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. I don't know. Bro, that's just I want to go to Disneyland to. with you. I just want to watch Dude, the crazy. I'm gonna be I'm you. to Disneyland. I'm yes, down. I'm down. Hundred percent. S- We're going to be so December. much better. <laughs> 
Dude, it would be so fun. No kids. <laughs> no kids. Yeah. No There's some up. voodoo magic when it comes to children. Oh, because yeah. like the good moments make you just totally forget about the garbage you have to go through <laughs> to get to it. It's oh, true. Yeah. Like, oh, the like, children crying on. On Alice in Wonderland, or I was or gonna say, you could be street, having whatever. the crappiest day with the kids, and then all of a sudden you go watch like Fantasmic, or you go on their favorite ride at the end of the day, and it's like you just forget about all of it, right? Yeah. Just to see their face walking out of that park. Right. Like, all day. day, all day, the Spoiled kids are like, little brats. I, I know. hate this place. This is the worst. And then they leave and like best day <laughs> that was literally my kids. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want to go, right? Yeah, they they, right. they oh, wanted yeah. to see oh, the beach. We it's broke Disneyland this in. in the background. Let's go. We want to go to the beach. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we've been saving this surprise mm. for six months. <laughs> yeah. Good times. <laughs> so funny. But then all the good times, it's like, I am forgetting how I spent 20 bucks on that mac and cheese that you only took right? two bites of. Right? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> By the way, you do it through Sam's Club, you get. Like you buy a five hundred dollar gift card and they give you like three hundred dollars on top of it. I've heard that. Same with Costco. They have like traveling Maybe that's what deals. It was. it was one or the other. Yeah. You know, so biggest technique I've learned with buying food for kids in Disneyland. Huh. I don't order myself lunch. Like I don't order myself food because I know between my wife and my kids, there will be enough leftovers for me to have a oh, full meal. Yeah. Huh. Just get it. Just have an empty tray right ready. On. I, I do. Like I, when you're done, place it here. That's exactly what Except I tell them. When time. you're done, just hand it over. And literally, by the end of it, there's enough food that I have eaten a full meal, and all the kids are happy and the wife's happy, and I you save just myself coax 20 bucks. to what to order. Mm. I want the mac and cheese. Nah, do you? Because uh, this is looking day. really good. That hamburger <laughs> looks really just, good. Just all day, you're like, man, look at that cloud. It looks like a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? You just... smell. Ground beef? Weird. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's the same color as cheese. <laughs> You're just planting that. Yeah, I'm all there. I have an overwhelming urge for a hamburger. <laughs> we, I took Jedi's Paige. love hamburgers. They do. I took Paige on a little father-daughter date. And uh, it, I traditionally now, it's just kind of it's just kind of fallen into that. Is we always end dates, me, Micah, and Paige, we just always end at habit. For a burger. <laughs> Would it's you just, say it's a family tradition now? Probably, a yeah. A weird family tradition, yeah. maybe? Yeah. I'm, just, literally, I'm just trying to bring yeah, us back. You yeah, know, you're that's, good. It's become a habit. Because legit, <laughs> we'll go out, we'll do whatever activity, and then we end up a habit. It just is a tradition. Habit. And Either habit or target. Like yeah. <laughs> and we pull into the parking lot, and you know how sometimes when uh, burger joints have their broiler or whatever oh. going, and you can kind of smell oh, the burger yeah. outside of it? Oh, yeah. So we pull up, and it's going strong because it's you know right at noon, and none of our windows are even down. We pull up and goes, Paige is sniffing the air. She goes, that smells good. Good. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah we're, it does. we're set, baby. All right. I love it. Well, any last family traditions you guys want to get out? Because if not, I'm calling it. Are there any? Are there any more on there that are kind of? Oh, there's there's a whole bunch I was on there. Say, there's a ton. Here, I'll give you. I'll give you a quick rapid fire of most of the stuff they got left. So, uh, Christmas trees that aren't green. Christmas what? family newsletters, inflatable decorations, any Christmas special that's not a Charlie Brown Christmas or claymation. That's a little biased. Right? Mm. Over romanticizing a white Christmas fruitcake. I can agree with that. Yeah. Mall Santas. Uh. Underwear is a real gift. Fake fireplaces on TV. Never ending holiday, holiday sales events. Excessive <laughs> quoting of Will Ferrell from Elf. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Tacky nativity scenes. Christmas caroling. Getting dressed up for Christmas dinner or dressed down. Paul McCartney Christmas song. <laughs> Watching the Nutcracker. Fighting about whether to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Hiding the Christmas pickle. I don't know what that is. Don't really want to know what <laughs> that is. That's Ryan Lisa's I tradition. Hide, I hide the Christmas pickle. <laughs> I bet you do. I do. I saw that one on here. It was from That's a Germany. That's a tradition. It's I a tradition. Right. You hide it on the tree, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Office parties and drinking eggnog. So literally, I feel like this person just hates Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. That's like all it is. A yep. boring person to be around. Literally just named everything that it's like, Scrooge. what else would you do? Yeah. You are Scrooge. Have okay. You? Person who wrote this. Now, yes. Now, before we end, I just have one quick Freaking question. Rob Larkin. Is there any <laughs> holiday traditions you guys would like to start or are going to try and start with your families? I'm just curious if, they, if yes. you guys had any. I, I have one that I really want to do, but it'll be... 
It'll be after Santa is no longer visiting the house. Oh, gotcha. I would love to start Why taking... Why would Santa not visit the house? It's We were just going to pass over that. Why? <laughs> because the kids stop believing and Santa doesn't visit the kids that don't the believe. The kids don't like handmade presents anymore, okay? <laughs> Santa still visits my house because I believe. Does he 3D print them now? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, in, in, Tony, in Tony's house, <laughs> in Tony's in house, Tony's got a contract, and when that's up, <clears throat> Tony's not going to renew that contract. <laughs> really, a bunch of grinches at your house. When, when our streaming service ends, <laughs> no, I there was this family in our old neighborhood that, granted, they had a ton of kids, so trying to buy everybody presents was ridiculous. So they would take a family vacation over Christmas, and I would love to start that. Mm -hmm. I would love to take what money we would have spent towards presents and put it towards a vacation. Love that. Boo. Dude, that would be That's awesome. That's a bah humbug. Could you imagine, bro, could you imagine going to Germany for Christmas? That's what we're doing this year. Building, building the memories really? instead of buying yeah, gifts that they're going to hate yeah. in a matter of a month. See, I, I, oh. My memories... Hold on, I don't back. know. I'm I'm back? different. My memories were opening up presents. Even when I was like in high school, like I loved waking up Christmas morning in my house, five, six o'clock in the morning and seeing the presents under the tree and having that experience and going and grabbing socks. my, I, I, I still like, even to this day, like I think last year for Christmas, I was the first one up and had to wake my kids up. Yeah, dude. I love like, Don't see, get me wrong. That's I just something I absolutely love, love and I would not I would not take away I from do. that to go do a family vacation elsewhere. Like, okay, I just... so so what if I threw in it's like everybody buys like one present. We still wake up, have a Christmas morning, but it may not be on Christmas. You don't Christmas. have to negotiate with him. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's but right. I'm just saying. <laughs> But uh, he's trying to no, appeal see, uh, to me. I'm just trying okay, to, yeah, okay. That, that's a good I'm way like, what is going on? No, I'm, it's like, okay, Zach, are you happy now? Can we do can this? I, can I have Christmas array? I want to have Christmas with my family. <laughs> I was just like, what is going on over there in that corner of the world? Well, and honestly, it may not even happen. You know, when it comes to that point, it'll right. kind of be a family vote if that's what we want to do. But me personally, as much as I would love to travel and everything... That's what I would want to do. You'd want to yeah. do it during Christmas or like right after Christmas? Around there. It I just kind of depends on Christmas. Yeah. Just to kind of depends on when it falls, I Honestly, guess. Honestly, like if I were to do it, we would probably do like my parents last year, they gifted everyone a suitcase, which was pretty cool with the idea that this year we, you know, would try and find somewhere to go for vacation. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And so, but yeah, like trying to travel during the holidays is bananas. Yeah. You wouldn't want to do it during Christmas, but like definitely like early January or even like early December would be awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My wife decided to uh, book us a flight. We have to leave 3 a.m. on the 26th. Oh my gosh. Oh, gross. Yeah. Wow. Did she not, that exists. Did she confuse the A and the P? I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> it's all right. It's only an hour flight. She's like, I think I screwed up. No, because we have to go to Las Vegas and we have a layover. I'm like, ah. Oh. For how long? I don't know. Well, it like, better be like $100 a person. to get annoyed, I guess. For round trip. <laughs> Plane tickets are expensive. I know. That's You're what I'm saying. You're going to have to get up at like midnight. No, we have to get up at 3 a.m. and be No, bro. You got to be there <laughs> at no, midnight. Our flight doesn't leave at 3 a.m. I'm oh, saying we have to be to the oh, airport at 3 a.m. Oh, okay. When's your flight leave? Five. You have oh, to be okay. there two no, hours yeah, early. Yeah, be there two. <laughs> what are you flying? Front Three years? hours, bro. Three hours. Yours. That means you got to leave your house around two in the morning. Shush. So you got to be up probably around 1231 in the morning. I don't want to lightsaber anymore. You just need anymore. to not. You, just get, <laughs> you don't go to sleep. Just, That's the fact. Just, yeah. Just don't go to you sleep. Don't go to bed. New, new, uh, new found tradition for your family is a new lightsaber every year. Bro, heck yeah. That'd be cool. I do. I, I've been in, after reading this, I'm inspired to find like some good traditions. Like we yeah. have some from our family, but I want to like, I want to make some new just my, funny ones. My wife, funny story. My wife's mother wanted to know what I wanted for Christmas. So she told me to do an Amazon wish list. I did all of the Lord of the Rings swords, like the yes. replicas of all the swords. <laughs> Bro. Oh. Like, just have does, Cam print you some. Does she? Yeah, dude, I have these them. are like sharpened, forged yeah. swords. Dude. She's like, does he really want these? I'm like, yes. F yeah, man. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Just give it a Bud K magazine and be like, I want everything in there. Yeah, what what traditions would you have? I'm just curious. <laughs> or do you have all the traditions you want to keep? No, none to add. I, You're happy? Yeah. I don't even know what our traditions are. I just you open presents. Well, I was gonna say well, cool. waking up Christmas morning. Yeah, we do that. Um, me and me and Kara actually open up presents on Christmas Eve for ourselves. So that way, Christmas morning could be all for the kids. Oh, you open just your presents yep. at night? Just mine and Kara's presents to each other. Interesting. We open those up on Christmas Eve after we put the kids to bed. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I a little odd. Yonder on that present. Yeah, on the pickle. pickle. We wait, wait till I even painted it green this year. <laughs> <laughs> we do that after. So we let Alden open his gifts, and then we do it after he's done opening yeah, his see, gifts. We, we do it the night before, and then... That's pretty selfish. Um, I know, right? <laughs> and then we let, we let the kids enjoy Christmas um, all to yeah, themselves and stuff. Nothing ruins a kid's day like seeing their parents happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, why is that smiling? <laughs> wow. Stop that, Dad. Stop smiling. The, the only thing I would change, and I mean, it's not like it's a horrible thing. It's actually really fun is... We go to my in-laws and we do Christmas morning over there. Uh-huh. And because my mother-in-law goes extravagant for Christmas and all that stuff. And it's great. I just almost wish we could kind of push that later to the day. So you have your family time yeah. for a while. Because oh, we, so go, like, we typically, like we go over there at like nine o'clock in the morning. Oh, geez. dude, I put yeah. a stop oh, to yeah. that. Yeah, yeah we wait till like noon. One. Mine did that too. That's luckily this year. I think we're actually doing that because it's, of course, it's on Sunday. So we're waiting till everybody gets done with church. So I don't think we're going over to like one or two in the afternoon. Huh? That's which, good. Which I think will be great. Right. Um. But yeah, typically we we are there at like nine, ten o'clock in the morning. It just kind of sucks because the kids get up, they get their presents, and it's like, all right, let's go. And yeah. Like, well, we want to play, and I'm like, let's go. Lisa's yeah. family tried that. We want you here yeah. at seven. I yeah. was like, oh, no. Heck no. Yeah. Oh. All that opens his presents. Ah, okay, time to go. You can play with them later. Yeah. It's it's oh. tough. It's a fun tradition. Like, I love what we do at my in-laws and stuff. It's just sometimes... Just push it back a couple a hours. Yeah. Yeah. Is, there, is there, is there anything against back. having them join you on Christmas Day? No, it's just my... So my mother-in-law, um, she grew up with really no Christmas. Uh. Like, it just was... If the presents were there, it was seldom. And, right. like, there's just the extravagance for Christmas. And so promise that she made when she got married and stuff and had kids is she's like, I want my kids to experience Christmas. Like I never got really got to. Mm. So she goes extravagant. She actually starts buying presents like January one. It's oh, wow. not about the presents. And Christmas I mean, is in your heart, <laughs> but she'll, she'll start doing that. And like literally, so I kid you not. So there's, there's four families, um, roughly, you know, average about three to four kids in each family. Uh-huh. And there's probably, we go downstairs and there's probably about, I would dare say, 100 presents underneath the Christmas tree. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it takes some pressure off you, huh? It's extravagant. It gets, gets pretty fun, but. That's too much. That's a, ah. There that's, was one year that we spoiled the crap out of the kids and they actually got bored about halfway through. They're like, can we go eat some breakfast and then we'll keep opening presents? Bro. Like, never Anything again. that's not opening for the breakfast. <laughs> It, well, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't really expensive stuff. It was just a lot. Yeah. And so they just had a lot of presents and it was just like, well, it was just overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's the like, kids don't yeah. need that much stimulation. Nope. No. To give them box, uh, just literally a cardboard box. <laughs> Christmas. They'll be happy, man. <laughs> give them a big that reminds old me. refrigerator I know box. I know we're dragging this on, but that reminds me, have you seen the thing where you wrap empty boxes Put them under the tree, and then anytime the kid's acting up, you grab one of them and throw them in the fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was great. Yes. That is amazing. Assuming you have a like a wood burning fireplace right? or something. Awesome. But you're like, that's it. Another one gone. You want to yes. keep it up? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's that's traumatizing great. right there. <laughs> I, the one I saw recently was uh, the the dad threatened the kid with the Grinch coming in to steal Christmas. And then they hired a guy coming in to act as the Grinch. And he literally came in, kicked the door in, grabbed the Christmas tree and started walking I out. I saw the that. That's, here's the thing. The kid we was freaking out. We don't out, even need boy. to hire anyone. We just do it for each other. It's yeah, true. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll cause your kid some have psychological a universal harm. Grinch <laughs> outfit. Years to come. Why do you think I wore my green sweater? That <laughs> 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 <I> was... <laughs> All right. Oh, well, wrap yes. Us up. On that note, let's wrap it up. Let's yeah. Let's wrap. 
Let's it up wrap like Christmas it presents. up like a uh-huh. Christmas present, yes. friends. So what's the um, hashtag for tonight? Hashtag the Grinch. <laughs> yeah. The Grinch. Yeah. The Grinch. Christmas. The Grinch. Hashtag Christmas. Hashtag Christmas. Hashtag Christmas. Christmas. I'll get one yeah. one of these times. I'll get one. <laughs> <laughs> one day. <laughs> hashtag Lord of the Rings. Dude, you never. Know. <laughs> one of these days, no, guys. Now I feel bad. Hashtag Grinch. No, I don't hashtag want it now. That's a pity. Now they're just confused. No, that's just I don't want pity. It now. Okay. Hashtag, I don't want it now. Right. Hashtag the Christmas Grinch. <laughs> 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 Any three of those will work. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. I love you guys. So, love you guys. Yes, we love you. Yeah. Just a heads up so you guys aren't questioning or anything. We are going to take a small break for Christmas. Um, and then we will be back at the beginning of the year. Yeah. So that so. makes this the last and final episode of 2022. As long as it Woo! gets posted in right order, Cal. Oh, it did. This will. It's on, the, it's on the freaking calendar. All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, Merry now Christmas. Now we just got to make sure we upload and post <laughs> right? it. Right. Let's just make sure it's uploaded and posted. But this will be the last one of the year. And uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. And, and a yeah. happy new year. Happy new year. Get to enjoy your families. And... Uh, God bless us, everyone. Yes. <laughs> and just a deep special and thank you to all of you yeah. who have made this year yes. simply magical here for us on the podcast. We wouldn't be here without you. It's very true. Yeah. So continue to spread the word for us, though, and hit that share like button. Um, you know, we're, we're, if we're really cheap Christmas present, I mean, <laughs> all you gotta Spread do is say, joy. Hey, I've got the best <laughs> Christmas present right here. Go listen to this podcast. Right. Bam. Cost you nothing. Hours of entertainment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. It's the gift that keeps on giving. That's all you gotta do. It's the Kinda best like thing in the herpes. world. <laughs> you know, we're the gift but that keeps on giving. <laughs> we fester a little. <laughs> Oh, well, not the medication. <laughs> We're cutting it. We're done. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for being part of this Merry crowd. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll we'll see you next year. Ciao. Ciao. Bye.